bitch, I ball. Ho, you lame. Look at my lane. switching lanes. Look at my nines. Look at my blazers. Look at my fours. Cut with laser. What's up, everybody? It's Sneakerhead M Checks. I'm back with another video, and today we have episode four of How Did You Get Those? starring these Defining Moments Package 11s. So before there was StockX and GOAT and all that, there was Soul Collector. And I used to get a lot of my sneakers from Soul Collector. I purchased these through Soul Collector around 2009, 2010. If I remember correctly, the value of these was about the same back then as it is now. So, you know, you guys know, you know how valuable these are now. So they were about the same back then. So. I'm scrolling on Soul Collector, just looking through listings. I don't remember if I was looking for anything specific or not, or if I was just browsing. And I find a pair of DMP 11s in what looked like good condition based off of the thumbnail. The seller had good feedback and they were listed at $180. So what's the catch? Well, it could have been a couple of things, you know, maybe they had a real crazy flaw on them that wasn't shown in the, you know, thumbnail picture. Maybe the seller put that low price just to, you know, grab people's attention and get people to click on his listing. Because of the seller's feedback, I wasn't going to doubt that they were fake or that, you know, it was an illegitimate seller or anything like that, you know, so I'm really trying to understand why these are 180. So I click on the listing, scroll down a little bit and boom there's the catch. There was a big dark red stain on one of the sneakers tongues covering pretty much the entire tongues. Now I'm wondering like, you know, how did this get there? What is this? You know, but at least I know now why they were 180. So I'm reading the listing more because now I'm really interested as to how this got here, what this, you know, stain is and all that. So it turns out my guy who was selling the sneakers went to a party one night, got a little too lit or just had a little clumsy situation where he spilled wine all over the tongue of his DMP 11s. So the way my mind is set up, I went on Google to do some research to figure out if it was possible to remove this stain from these DMP 11s. Turns out this product RIT, that's R-I-T, was the way to go on removing the stain from these. So then I wanted to figure out, you know, where could I get RIT from? How much was it? You know, was it worth, you know, this whole uh, process? So it turns out it was really easy to get, found it at my local shop, right? It was very inexpensive. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was a couple of dollars. It wasn't expensive. So now that I got the product, I had like a little procedure that I found online on one of the websites that I recommended it, you know, so I was ready. So I messaged the guy on Soul Collector and I met up with him by 42nd Street. Smooth, easy transaction. Sneakers looked exactly the way they were in the pictures. You know, great condition other than the fact that they had that big wine stain. Aside from the fact that I was getting a pair of DMP 11s for 180, he also had the original box and you know the little gold tag and everything like that. So you know that was even better. And not only did he have like the half box, he had the entire like gold outer part. I don't know if you guys can see down here. I have um, you know the entire um, even though I only you know purchased one pair from him. So that was cool. Now that I got my sneakers and I got my cleaning solution prepared. Now I'm ready to go home and do my experiment. I go home, I don't remember exactly what um, ingredients were used to create this solution, but it wasn't much, um, I think it was like hot water and RIT and that might have been it. I don't know, it might have been like one other little thing, but it wasn't much. I mix everything together, you know, I mix them together in a bowl, um, stir it up. I took a toothbrush, dipped it in the bowl and applied it very gently to the stained area. I made sure I applied it to every part that was stained and then I let them dry and then in a couple of hours I had a pair of DMP 11s in about 9 out of 10 condition that I paid $180 for plus whatever the writ was. When I first bought them I wasn't sure if I was just going to buy them to flip them and just you know get some profit or if I was going to keep them but once I got them you know I was happy I got them you know it's really cool to have these with the gold sign on the back when a lot of people have the concords and you know the concords have re-released multiple times so a lot of people have them and not too many people have these since they only release one time so it's really great to have them you know and everyone loves the steel so I'm really glad I got them for the price that I got them. I'm glad the whole RIT solution worked. Um, shout out to the forum that I got that on. I think it was a Soul Collector forum, but I'm not sure. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate all of you who watch all my videos. I really appreciate those of you who are subscribed to me. Um, if you're not subscribed to me already, please do so. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and look out for the next video. Thank you.